Hey there, welcome to another episode of Tips and Tech Talk. I am your host, Ron, and today we're talking about a brand new product. Last week, DJI, you know the company that makes all those drones, well, they announced the release of the DJI Osmo Pocket. And although this is not a drone, it might be a game changer for a lot of people. The reason? The size of this camera. It's a 4K, 60 frames per second, three axis gimbal camera that is very small. Some people have said it's the size of a cigar. Others have said it looks and it's the size of, say, an electric toothbrush. But nevertheless, this camera is the smallest compact footprint camera available with its ability. So before I get into the specs of this camera and what it can do, let me give you a little backstory. Back in 2012, 2013, when drones started becoming a thing, DJI partnered up with GoPro and they would put their DJI drone in the air with the GoPro cameras. Well, a few years later, GoPro says, you know what, we don't need your help, we can make our own drone. Hence, the Karma. And although GoPro does not make the Karma any longer, DJI has said, hey, we can make regular cameras too. And so some have called this DJI Osmo Pocket possibly a GoPro killer. DJI Pocket Osmo is the smallest three-axis stabilization handheld camera DJI has ever designed. It's lightweight, it's portable as you can see there, shoots 4K 60 frames per second, it has mechanical stabilization, intelligent shooting, it, it goes for about 140 minutes with a full battery. The image capture is handled by the integrated camera that features a 1 half point three inch sensor that's capable of taking 12 megapixel stills. Like I said, it shoots in 4K up to 60 frames per second and it records at 100 megabits per second. It also has on the back of the camera a one inch integrated touch screen that provides live view as well as the ability to quickly swipe through various shooting modes and setting. It has time lapse, motion lapse, both of these modes enable creative time lapse options. It also has an FPV mode, which was popularized by drones. This mode releases the gimbal and enables the camera to follow you through a tilt, through a lean, whatever you're shooting at. It gives you smooth quality video. So this is definitely an interesting camera and there's lots to like about it. The 4K at 60 frames per second, the panoramic stuff that it does, the time lapse. There's a lot of bells and whistles on this little small camera, but the bad news is this camera's internal microphone leaves a lot to be desired. The good news is uh, on the bottom of the Osmo Pocket is a USB port where soon they will have an adapter so you could hook an external microphone in through that USB port. So um, in the future, when this is released, you will have the ability to use an external microphone on the Osmo Pocket, um, which is simply gonna be necessary if you wanna record good audio. So other than the audio, I really don't see a lot of things to dislike about this Osmo Pocket. Something that did give me concern or give me pause uh, was this. I was able to check in with some people who had their hands on the early versions of the Osmo Pocket and uh, some of those early versions gave you the ability to shoot 1080 at 120 frames per second but apparently that won't be available initially. Why? Hard to say. My guess is it could cause overheating but only time will tell. You're going to be able to use your phone with this. You can hook up the camera right into your phone and you can control it with the app or you can even use it just as a monitor. But uh, with the phone into the camera, it's going to give you a lot more options. The quality of video on this camera is, uh, is comparable to the Mavic Pro, the first one. So you're, the quality of video is exceptional. The DJI Osmo Pocket, very exciting new camera on the market here in a couple weeks. If you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends. Also go to my YouTube channel, check out more of my videos, subscribe there, hit that bell notification button so you're notified when I make future videos. And of course, you can see all my work at my website at ronrobinsonstudios.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for another episode of Tips and Tech Talk. So long.